is a key and controversial figure in the life and death of the king of rock and roll. And tonight, a new look into the life of Elvis Presley's personal doctor from a woman who knew him best. Good evening, I'm Joe Birch. And I'm Condi Anthony. The death of Dr. George Nicopolis has brought up new curiosity about his relationship with Memphis's biggest legend and the scandal surrounding those final days. WMC Action News 5's Janice Broach talks with Elvis's former nurse who shares the story you haven't heard. Dr. George Nicopolis spent a lot of time here at Graceland. He was a medical doctor first, but his life became defined by Elvis and Elvis's troubles. Dr. Nick, I loved him. He, he was a fine man, and I think he did the best he could. I really do. And I'll go to my grave saying that. Marion Cock met Dr. George Nicopolis when she worked as a nurse at Baptist Memorial Hospital. I was the unit supervisor at the time. And the man known as Dr. Nick sent his patients to her floor. One of those patients was the king himself, Elvis Presley. And I told the guard at the desk, don't ever let anybody in this room unless you check with me first. Elvis liked Cock so much he asked her to become his personal nurse at Graceland, which she did the last two years of his life. Dr. Nick was his doctor, and they both got caught up in the scandal of Elvis's drug use. She had to testify before a grand jury when Nicopolis was indicted in 1980 for overprescribing drugs to Elvis and other patients. His medical license was permanently revoked by the Tennessee Board of Examiners, but Marion Cock, who soon will be 90, says Dr. Nick got a bad rap. Dr. Nick did the very best he could for Elvis. And there were many other doctors, not local doctors, but out-of-town doctors. She says the scandal could have done in a lesser man. It could have destroyed him totally. But I will say this for him, he kept his head up. And pretty much his mouth shut. Dr. Nick was 88 years old. He died on Wednesday. He will be buried on Saturday at Memorial Park Cemetery at Graceland Janice Broach, WMC Action News 5.